I'm going to show you guys why Logic has some of the best stock plugins in the dog game, period. Okay guys, so here I have a session open and I muted everything except uh, an 808 and the kick, which is where this side chain compression is gonna come in. And um, pretty much I, I used to have the Waves plug-in on the 808, um, but I sw I'm gonna swap it out with the native Logic Pro 10 plug-in, which honestly, I'm gonna be 100% honest, like, it's kind of legit, like it's not, it's not a bad compressor at all. So let's dig into it. I'm gonna play what I have as far as the 808 and the kick without that side chain compression. And then we're gonna add that compressor and let you guys hear uh, what that sounds like. So here we go. Now, honestly, the kick is kind of punching through um, and the 808 is not really getting in the way just because, again, it goes back to sound selection. You save a ton of work and time if you just se select good sounds that work together. Um, but we can still compress that 808 a little bit more to make the kick stand out even more um, so those frequencies in the 808 and the kick aren't getting in the way of each other. So we're going to add this compressor to the 808, and I probably should title this 808 so it's less confusing. Um, sometimes when I'm creating, I'm just in the vibe and titles aren't the most important thing to me. So, um, and then let me name this kick one, which this isn't, oh yeah, yeah, this is one that had an echo on it. Anyways, um, so let's add the compressor. So you want to go to dynamics, go to compressor and stereo. This is in every version of Logic Pro 10. Um, so this is the compressor. It actually is kind of easy on the eyes too um so here in the upper right hand corner you have where it says side chain and it's set to internal by default but if you want a side chain like a kick in an 808 or whatever um you just go here and select the audio that um you want to do this with so in my instance i'm going to select kick 2 which is also audio 12. And then we're just gonna play it as it is now without touching any of the settings. So you can kind of hear it, it's a little faint, um, but I'm gonna adjust the attack on a quick, quick attack time, quick release, and then turn up the ratio a bit so you can kind of hear it. Uh, more intense, I guess, that, that compression, um, so you can really notice it. So there you can hear, like, every time that kick hits, that 808 is getting out the way. It's like, yo, I'm I'm gonna compress because the kick is hitting. It's it's the kick's time to shine. Uh, so that's what side chain compression is, and this is how you do it with the stock Logic plugin. Um, of course, you can go in, mess with some of the settings, such as the threshold and things like that, depending on the kind of sound that you want, depending on how much compression uh, you want on your 808 when the kick is coming through. Um, so it's pretty cool. Now, to take things a step further and show you how dope this stock plugin from Logic is, if you click here where it says graph, you can actually see the work that's being done as far as compression um, live, like in real time, it'll show you. So I have it set to graph. And now let's play it and you're gonna see it on the screen. So 
So there, so you can see, you know, exactly how much is compressing or where that, where those levels are. Um, so it's pretty cool, man. This is a dope plugin. Um, so if you just got Logic Pro 10 or, you know, you haven't been using it long or you just don't have a huge library of expensive plugins, um, this is a great way to start, a great place to start. I've always been a fan of Logic stock plugins um, because they just sound better than some of the other DAWs out there. And um, man, like, I mean, you can hear the difference um, in these plugins versus some of the other DAW stock plugins. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.